curator at Northwest Carriage Museum back in our beautiful wheelwright and blacksmith shop here at the museum. And you know, we do lots of tours at the museum and we do lots of car clubs. Car clubs love the museum because of the correlation of uh, early horse-drawn transportation going into the automobile industry. And one of the questions I always get asked on, at car clubs is what kind of bearings were inside the wheels of these big wagons and these carriages. And when I explained to them there really weren't bearings like we think of today, um, I, I, I actually demonstrate and show them what's inside of here. So here's what we have. This is a gigantic wheel hub, okay? And if you think about this, this is that centerpiece. The spokes go into here. So there's spokes all the way around the wheel like this one set up here. Inside of this wheel hub, there is actually what they call a boxing. This boxing actually fits inside of this wheel hub, and on the end of the axle is a big axle skein that's actually pounded onto the axle. So when that wheel is on here, we just slap a bunch of grease in here, put that boxing on in the wheel, and that's what slides around and is secured with what they call a hub nut right here. So that's how a wheel works. Hope you enjoy it.